These sleek, modern buildings stand where a dense network of wholesale markets once thrived. At its peak, over 11,000 vendors filled the area, causing severe congestion and an expensive headache for city management. In 2014, the markets began relocating to nearby cities, paving the way for a new financial hub. The biggest challenge was the complex ownership within the markets. We had to navigate many contracts, but people understood this was a national strategy and cooperated as long as they received a fair settlement. Xicheng District's workforce today is only a quarter of what it was a decade ago. And its GDP has more than doubled. It's a model of high-quality development in Beijing. This corridor is a vivid reminder of a proud history. The sculpture behind me is built with 1,000 hangers, an artistic tribute to the thousands of wholesale vendors that once worked here. But its shape, inspired by a Chinese mythological creature, symbolizes the future. It's a welcome sign for the tech unicorns that are expected to thrive in this innovative space. Today, these office buildings are home to many startups, benefiting from rent discounts, tax breaks and strong project support. This commercial rocket company opened its headquarters here in 2021, drawn by the district's wide-ranging policy incentives. The business environment here is crucial for companies planning to go public. The district offers training, talent support and helps facilitate technological exchange within the industry. Beijing's push to phase out non-essential industries is part of a broader strategy aimed at coordinating development across the Beijing-Tianjin-Hebei region. China's top economic planner has recently introduced 19 measures in a three-year action plan to deepen this integration. A decade since the regional integration plan was elevated to a national strategy, new measures are now focusing on streamlining local regulations to remove business barriers and helping key sectors such as cybersecurity, financial services and advanced manufacturing. These measures are expected to increase regional and international investment and strengthen long-term economic resilience.